What is going on everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? It is Ripple Van Winkle back with another video. Happy Friday to you. Hopefully it's a payday Friday. It is not for me. Next week will be a payday Friday, which will make it glorious. Looks like this weekend is going to be nothing but a rain out as we have some kind of hurricane, tropical storm approaching. Who knows? Looks like it's a level one, not not a big deal. It's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of wind. All is good in Southwest Florida. Before I get going, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel from this little caption right here that I pulled from my YouTube analytics. 61.4% of you people are not subscribed. All you got to do is click that little button. Tell your friends and family. Click the button. I'm here every day. I'm providing you the latest news, the up-to-date information in regards to Ripple, R3, XRP, and now the Flare Network, as we are gonna cover that today. Let's see this number drop. 61.4% is way too high. Subscribe to the channel, click the button. It takes two seconds. You could have done it already. As always, we need to look at the price. We need to look at Bitcoin dominance. The dominance has dropped. Bitcoin dominance was just at 59.2, give or take. We are now looking at 58.8% with a total market cap sitting at 369 billion. XRP, it's showing green, everyone. It's alive, 0.6%, 0.2919. We'll call it 29 cents for the sake of this video. Where are we going? We're gonna go up. XRP had enough down. If anything, we're gonna see flat sideways movement for a little bit. Our stop loss is set at 27 cents. I don't see us going back down. We might, as I said yesterday, we might hit that double bottom. And it was like 286 or 285. I forget the exact numbers, but 27 is a very safe stop loss. I do not see us dropping down there. I don't see Bitcoin moving down to the 10,000 range. I do see XRP having an explosive movement at any point and getting us up into the 40 to 50 cent range before our next major retracement. So keep an eye on it. Let's see what happens over the weekend. Hopefully we get some more green. I know I'm sick of 30 cents. I know you're sick of 30 cents. I know you're sick of 20 cents. I know you're sick of just saying cents. I get it. We will be at a dollar before you know it, people. There is way too much going on. Let's get into the news. Yesterday, Brad Garlinghouse was at the Crypto Town Hall. Very interesting. I tweeted out the link yesterday for everyone. I was tweeting out updates. I also covered... The town hall on xrprightnow.com. Here it is. Make sure you follow the website. Check it out. It's free. All the latest information. A great reference point for you showing anyone that's new to Ripple and or XRP people. So this is raw and uncut. What I did was I copied and pasted every question from the chat. Brad Gollinghouse was on fire yesterday, people. He was on fire in the chat. He was answering every question from Brad. Do you like ice cream? Brad, when we going to the moon? Brad, what about Bank of America? He was just bam, 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 knocking them out. It was amazing. So what I did was I copied and I pasted every question, unedited, uncut, and I threw them into a nice article for you. Let me give you a quick scroll. You can just see how many questions there actually were to him. I'm not going to read every one to you. You can go ahead. You can go read them yourselves. XRPRightNow.com. That's the site. I am going to cover just a few that I thought were very, very interesting. Brad was asked, do you believe a digital asset can be as liquid as a G10 country currency? If yes, how far in the future do you see this happening? Brad replies, without a doubt. He doesn't like predicting timing. Even things like COVID has impacted the pace of digitization of everything. So it's hard to predict. So Brad does see digital assets 
as being as liquid as a G10 currency, which is absolutely huge. Brad was also asked a question, let me find it for you, about SBI Ripple Asia. He said, hello Brad, hope all is well. The XRP community believes SBI Ripple Asia will be going into production this year with on-demand liquidity. Are the plans still going ahead and how excited are you about this? Optimistic for sure, Brad replies, and making progress. No public statement yet it's about timing. Guys, SBI is so close. SBI is gonna make the price fly. Between SBI and Flare, oh, the price is gonna move. We are finally gonna get the price action, the price movement that we deserve. And then Brad was also asked, is Ripple still signing up two to three new clients per week? Has this accelerated with COVID? Brad replied, COVID has created both tailwinds and headwinds to our businesses. But overall, I am optimistic. We will meet or exceed our 2020 goals. Roughly what you asked. So two to three clients per week. We're going to, we, I always like to do the low numbers here. I like to do an underestimation instead of an overestimation. If we do two clients per week, that is eight clients per month. We do eight months or eight clients per month times 12 months. I got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. That is 96 clients per year. Last year, swell, we knew 300. We are definitely, by the end of this year, going to be looking at over 400. 100 customers on RippleNet, which is absolutely fantastic, people. Look at where we have come from. Look at where we are going. 400. These numbers are going to start accelerating once you have banks like Bank of America and you have banks over in Japan from SBI Ripple Asia getting online. People are going to see the news. They're going to read about the cost savings. And what do you think they're going to do? They are going to be ringing that phone, ring-a-ding-ding, Mr. Gallinghouse, Mr. Lawson, I want to use ODL. There is no doubt about it. So head over xrprightnow.com. This is the main article on the site. As soon as you load the site, you first get my lovely pop-up telling you to subscribe to my YouTube, just like I preach to you every morning. But there he is. There's the man. All you got to do is click it. Read over the questions. Remember, some of the questions might be a little short. You'd be like, whoa, where's the end of it? Brad had a character limit. Everything seems to have a character limit. Thanks, Twitter, for that. But go on. Give it a read. It's well worth your time. All right, let's keep it moving. Up next, DJ Peter Voss. Make sure you give him a follow up at Peter Voss 6. Sokin enters India with a razor, razor pay partnership. Interesting. Why am I bringing this up? I'll tell you why. Here's the article, Sokin enters India's Razor Pay Partnership. Sokin is the new generation fintech payment firm and has signaled its intention to become a market leader in India as it links a significant deal with Razor Pay, the leading full stack financial solution company to enter the Indian market. Varun Mogil, CEO at Sokin, knows the, knows the link with Razor Pay X will offer a significant cost savings for Indian nationals and businesses based around the world. The deal we have signed for the first time will allow anyone to send money home with no additional or reoccurring hitting cost. We offer users monthly one off, one off subscription fees to enable money transfers from over 150 countries and in more than 35 different currencies without adding repeat costs or mocking up exchange rates. So how do you think they are able to offer a cheap way to move money cross-border in 35 different currencies in over 150 countries? I'll tell you how. Currency cloud people. So can partner with Currency Cloud not too long ago, August 11th. We're talking 10 days, two weeks. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know what you're thinking. Currency Cloud and Ripple just formed a partnership. You damn right they did. That is how they're making it possible. Look at this. Sokin's offering a cheap transfer cost for customers across all markets and currencies without extra cost. 
Users can make unlimited payments for $3 per month. So listen, this is what they did. It's genius. Not only have they guaranteed themselves a subscription-based model that people are locking themselves in for for at least a month. $3, dirt cheap. They're gonna know how much it's gonna cost, they know the money's gonna get there fast, and they know it's the cheapest way. So for this $3 per month, so can partner with Currency Cloud, who we know is hooked up to RippleNet, that's how they can provide these low, low cost fees and this fast movement. It's genius. It is absolutely genius what they did. So think about this, Sokin has $3 a month, say they have 10,000 clients. That's $30,000 a month they are going to get guaranteed $30,000 a month. I'm sure they have more clients than that. I'm underestimating, you know what I do. And they're all locked in. So these people aren't going to go out there and look for the best rate or see which is the most convenient shop or store by them to send money. They're going to use Sokin's platform. And now Sokin got into India. How do you think they got into India? With the help of Currency Cloud and RippleNet because Ripple is already in India. The rails are laid. They are ready to go. India will be an on-demand liquidity corridor before you know it. If I had to make a prediction, I would say late 2021 is when India gets on board. Let regulations play out in the U.S., and then India will follow what the U.S. is doing. All right, everyone, we're going to jump into the meat and potatoes of this video. This is what a lot of you have been asking for in the comments. You want me to talk about the Flare Network. You want to know about the Flare Network. A lot of people are asking me, hey, Mr. Van Winkle, is the Flare Network a scam? No, no, no. The Flare Network is not a scam. The Flare Network is invested into by Spring. Let's get into this. I have about seven tabs we're going to go over. We're going to break down the Flare Network, what it is, how it's going to benefit the price, and how you, yes, you, can receive your airdrop tokens. So, to kick it off, May 24th, 2018, welcome to Spring, a Ripple Insights article. Spring is a new initiative by Ripple that will invest in incumbent, acquire, and provide grants to companies and projects run by proven entrepreneurs. Every entrepreneur will use digital assets, XRP, and the XRP Ledger, the open source decentralized technology behind XRP to solve the customer's problems in a transformative way. So that's what Spring is. I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to. It says by proven entrepreneurs. I don't agree with that because they gave this clown right here, Thomas McLeod, who found Omni, which doesn't even exist anymore, a crap ton of XRP to help build this. I don't even know what the hell he was trying to do. A rental business? Like, give me a break. It failed. This guy's a joke. You never heard from him again. Ugh. Don't get me started, people. Anyway, so you know what Spring is. You know Ripple Fun Springs, Ripple Back Springs. You know Spring backs the Flare Network. Because right here, Spring, from the, the official blog of Spring, investing in the Flare Networks. This is back in November 2019 by Danny Ernada. Flare, enabling smart contracts capabilities for the XRP ledger. Flare native token will be an algorithmic stablecoin created in part by burning XRP and payments for a contract that can be made and received in XRP via the ledger, which will be integrated with Flare. Flare will also use the XRP addresses and encryption system to provide XRP users with a virtually seamless way of interacting with smart contracts on the Flare network. The Flare network is currently in testing phase. 2019, Flare was being tested with early partners, including tourist Securitize, Singularity, Bueno Bit, Neurohance Network, and many more to be announced. So Flare has been being tested since 2019, people, almost a year ago. Trust me, when I tell you this airdrop, this DeFi, these smart contracts, they are coming a lot sooner than you think. This isn't something that was just spun up two weeks ago. This wasn't just an idea in the head. This has been in the works probably way before 2019, but we know it has the least been tested for over a year. So back to the article. It says Flare's native token 
is going to be a stable coin, which is created in part by burning XRP. Brilliant. We're going to get over to another article, May 15, 2020, by Warren Paul Anderson, Developers' Reflections of Flare. Let me scroll down. Last fall, Spring invested in Flair, led by co-founder Hugo Fillion and Sean Rowan, as a way to extend the XRP ledger to support more advanced applications that require smart contract functionality. Flair combines the settlement functionality of XRP, the programmability of the Ethereum virtual machine, and a version of the, of the consensus mechanism called Avalanche to form a turning complete federated Byzantine agreement network for building advanced smart contract applications all right fine and dandy right people well let's keep going white we'd say when tweets out today a tutorial and instructions and a tool to prepare for claiming your flare network spark tokens well the flare network isn't live yet and a spark token distribution has started you can already prepare your accounts so we'd say when got this together why do you think he got this together so quick? Because Flare is Flare is coming sooner than you think. I'm telling you. No, they haven't given us a date just yet, but they're going to. This isn't going to be something we hear about again in two years or a year from now. We're going to get it soon. Hang in there. Remember I told you that. So here's we'd say when. We're going to go over that, okay, of how to actually get your coins. Get your airdrops. Prepare for claiming your Spark tokens at the Flare Network. A tool from Sum and XRP Toolkit. At some point in the future, Flare Network will, will be launched by the people at Flare Networks. The native token of the Flare Network is Spark, just like the native token of the XRP Ledger is XRP. So the native token of the Flare Network is Spark. What did we just hear to here? What did we just hear to from this article? Flare's native token, which we know is Spark, is going to be a stable coin created in part by burning XRP. So, it's going to be a stable coin, people. Stable doesn't always mean a dollar. I think it's just going to be stable at a price. And it's going to be backed by a certain XRP ratio. So, we know, so what do we know so far? We know one thing. The Flare Network has an algorithm of stable coin that's created by burning XRP. So not only are we gonna get Spark token, but the Spark token is created by burning XRP. What happens when there is less supply of XRP? The price of XRP will go up. It is simple physics. Supply and demand, everyone. If there is less supply, there's more demand, meaning the higher the price goes. That is just simple physics. That's how it works. Let's get back to this article. The Flare Network and the XRP Ledger are separate ledgers based on entirely different underlying technologies, each with their own characteristics, advantages, and use cases. The two ledgers will be in a relationship together, Go. Here's a somewhat technical but step-by-step -step explanation of how the XRP token on the XRP Ledger relates to the FXRP token representing XRP on the Flare Network. Okay, let me explain that. So you have the XRP Ledger, whose native token is XRP. You have the Flare Networks, whose native token is Spark. But then you have FXRP, which represents XRP on the Flare Network. Okay, are you with me still? It says, at some point in the future, the people at Flare Network will launch their actual network and distribute the native Spark token, which we know is a stablecoin. In short, all people holding XRP and non-custodial wallets will be eligible to claim the Spark tokens. Some exchanges will distribute Spark as well. As of now, we only know of one exchange that is going to support this. That is Bitru. I think we all knew Bitru was going to do it. If I had to take a guess, uphold Bittrex, they're going to do it as well. I'm sure Binance US is going to jump in, in on this. Probably Binance. I mean, Coinbase is always the wild card. I don't see a way Coinbase is not involved on this. That's just me. But you could go to flare.xyz slash supporting dash exchanges. They will list all of the exchanges on here that are going to support it. But the big question is, first of all, if you're keeping your XRP on an exchange 
and they're supporting it, you don't have to do anything. You're going to get it. They're going to take the snapshot. You're going to claim your free tokens. This is great. Okay. Let's keep reading. Did I highlight any more? No, I didn't highlight any more. That's okay. So, we'd say Wind. As the founder of XRPL Labs, he's working on some, which is a non-custodial XRP Ledger wallet. Would, would simply like to offer us and Ledger Nano users using XRP Toolkit a way to prepare for the Spark token distribution. So what did he do? Four steps, people. XRP Ledger account holders will need an account, private key and account for the Flare Network. Private key and account can be generated to be used in the future. XRP Ledger account holders will provide account ownership by signing a reference point on the Flare Network. So you are not going to have to move your tokens off of your Nano. You're going to use the XRP toolkit that we'd say built out for us, which is right here, you know, becoming your own bank. I'm sure everyone knows what this is. And you, you're going to link in the messaging field the reference point to the Flare network. That's how they're going to talk to each other. Says your means that so your R account address on the ledger will point to your own 0x account on the Flare network. That's how they talk. That's how you will receive your airdrop. You can also use ZUM. Everyone knows what ZUM is. If we come here, we click the link. He made it very simple. You agree to all these beautiful things. I let me start over for you because I already ran through it. You go bada beam, bada boom, bada beam. You hit continue, you open your sum app, you scan the QR code, and then the rest is history. It takes you, takes it over from there. So it's a beautiful thing. So what do we have? We have the Flare Network, which is gonna have its native token called the Flare Token, or called Sparks, excuse me. You have the XRP ledger, which has this native token, which is XRP. We know that on the Flare network, the native token Spark is going to be a stable coin, which is created by burning XRP. We know that by burning XRP, the price of XRP is going to go up as well. So we hop over to Galgatron's blog about this. He covers Flare. I suggest you read this. This is a beautiful piece that he has written. She has written, whatever they are. Flare, the best thing to ever happen to XRP ever. I repeat, this is the best thing to happen to XRP ever. It's different than Ethereum, but has a lot of similarities. It has its own native coin, Spark, just like the XRPL has XRP. The Flare blockchain is, is premised on the same Ethereum virtual machine as Ethereum blockchain, which essentially means that a lot of the same capabilities that Ethereum has will also be possible for Flare. Why is this so important to XRP? By integrating XRP into Flare, now there's an established, decentralized, very mature development platform that can unlock all of XRP's DeFi potential, allowing for rapid mechanical XRP adoption, as not only can people use XRP, but now, mechanic, now machines can too. Machines will use XRP and experiment in volumes, unlocking all of XRP's untapped value for outpacing any direct human cases. Any direct human use cases, this should excite you. Why isn't Ethereum good for XRP, but Flare is? Listen, Ethereum can't do anything with XRP or any other blockchain for that matter. Ethereum can only work with ETH or ERC20 tokens that are already built on the Ethereum blockchain. In fact, the Uniswap DEX on Ethereum doesn't offer XRP or other non-Ethereum coins because of its lack of interoperability with other blockchains. There you go. Ethereum can't interoperate. If it's not built on Ethereum, it can't do anything with it, people. But that's the beauty about Flare. It's the beauty about XRP. 
it can interoperate with the freaking world, everyone. The lack of interoperability between blockchains is a significant current DeFi shortcoming that many projects, hyperlink, ILP link, are attempting to solve, not always in a trustless manner either, but it's been proving ex exponentially difficult to hit the sweet spot of decentralization, anonymous, trustless, real-time, programmable, and truly agnostic. And then he goes on, have a read. This was a very good read. All right, so let's do a quick recap here. The main questions people ask me, how do you get your flair? Or how do you get your spark? I keep keep telling you how to get your, the damn network. You're not gonna get the network. You're gonna get your free spark airdrop. Keep your coins on an exchange that will allow you to get the airdrop. The only exchanges that we know right now is BitTrue. I'm sure there's a lot of BitTrue users out there. If your XRP is on BitTrue, you do not have to do anything. If you have your XRP on that lovely, lovely Ledger Nano. What you're gonna have to do is hook up with the XRP toolkit, which will guide you through the, through the process of storing a reference on your XRP Ledger account for the Flare Network. You can do that today. We'd say Wind put together the toolkit, and I said all you have to do is click on the link, and then you just gotta accept his agreements. I'm gonna show you one more time. And left for some, or if you don't use some, and you wanna use the XRP toolkit, this is for all you Ledger Nano users, you're gonna hit continue here. And then if you don't own an Ethereum compatible account yet, if you're unsure if you wanna create a new ETH compatible account for privacy reasons, you can generate your account from this button, or if you already have an account, this is what it would look like. You can skip it, you can click this button, you can put your address in here and hit next. He walks you through everything. It doesn't take long, people. But that's it. We'd say wind, let me give him a retweet and a like. Absolutely genius for putting this together. This is going to make it nice and simple for you guys to receive your spark. This is going to be a very, and remember, it's a one-to-one. -one. If you own a thousand XRP, you're going to get a thousand spark. And they said it's a stable coin. What's it going to be stable at? Listen, if it's stable at a dollar, I'll take it. If it's stable at $10, I'll definitely take it. I don't know. I mean, we can throw numbers out there all day what we think. I mean, it could be stable at 50 cents. It could be stable at 10 cents. I don't know. I mean, that's going to be an exciting day when it comes out. Because imagine, say you own 50,000 XRP and you're going to get 50,000 of these sparks and they're a dollar each. That's nice. Maybe this is, all right, hold on. I just thought about this, guys, girls. Maybe this is a way of Ripple kind of rewarding us holders, huh? We've been here, we've been backing them, we've been going to war with them on Twitter, debunking thug, FUD, right? Maybe this is a way they're like, guys, you've been in this three years, four years, five years, how many years? We're gonna give you a one-to-one -one of Spark Token, you know, from Flare, who we invested in through Spring. Maybe this is their thank you. Could you imagine that? I'm just thinking out loud, people. I don't want to see you come after me in the comments for this. I know you probably will. We can chat about it. Wow, that that just, uh, what do you think? Let me know. All right, comment below. Let me know about that. Could this be a way of us getting rewarded? What if they are a dollar each? What if they're 50 cents each? I'll take 50 cents and you have 50,000 XRP, that's 25,000. You're gonna tell me 25,000 isn't gonna do good for you? Let's go half of that, or another half of that, right? 25 cents. Think about it. Anyways, this is gonna be massive. 
You've seen what, what happened to Ethereum in 2017, 2018. It went from what, what, 100 bucks, 1200 bucks, all because all these stupid little games like CryptoKitties were being built on the Ethereum blockchain. Imagine what's going to happen when people start using the Flare network and the XRP is getting burnt. The price is going to go up, people. This is going to make the price fly. I'm telling you, this is going to take us to the promised land between this, SBI Ripple Asia. Oh, this is definitely going to take us in the double ditch. No doubt. Question is how long? Who knows? I need to stop rambling. Wow, it's 740. This is a long video. I'm a half hour in. Crap. I got to go to work, people. I'm never going to make it. This sparked my interest, though. Uh, I hope I covered enough for you. I kind of did like a very, very brief outline. You know how to get your spark tokens. You know what they're trying to do here. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. You can get it if you are on a, a Ledger Nano. You don't need to move them off the Nano, which is beautiful, a brilliant thing. And no, this is not a scam. I know everyone got their shields up, but no, no, no. Ripple has invested in this, people. This is not a scam. Trust me, this is good to go. Just be careful when you're setting this up. Don't use any third-party apps because they're going to they're gonna try to take your spark. Use the tools that are provided by you or use the exchanges that you trust. All right, I got to go. Comment below. Hit me up on Twitter if you have more questions. I can cover this again in another video. This ran very long, one of my longest videos ever. For those of you who are still sticking around, wash your damn hands. Enjoy your weekend. I will be back tomorrow morning. I will drop another video. Maybe I'll drop a video tonight. Maybe I'll play some Call of Duty tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ripple Van Winkle is out. Be safe, everyone.